What is up Kings? My name is Genius and we're back at it again with another podcast. And today's episode is unique as but before that, konting life update muna tayo. Last week, out of impulse and curiosity, I tried to change my Facebook name. And hell, I did not know that I cannot revert it in 60 days. So yun, my name right now is Genius. Um, and for days, I've been thinking about it. And I honestly grew fun of it. So I'm thinking, why not keep it na lang as a pseudonym? Also, I had a haircut and semi-color. I call it semi hair color because I'm Latina. <laughs> but the deal is, I did it by myself. So going back to what we have for today's podcast, this month was welcomed by the news about a group of fraternity guys from UP Visayas and their news messages. That was me. So there was this Twitter account that's called Maniacs of UPV. Uh, they posted alleged screenshots of these, you know, bunch of guys. It's like a group chat with some UPB Centilla Juris members last June 26th where they can be found sharing nude videos and photos of women with some reported to be their exes. Well, can I just say that we cannot really discount this as a locker talk or, you know, just a regular guy-to-guy -guy conversation. Kasi hindi talaga siya tama. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right there. My point is, because of these call-outs about toxic masculinity and misogyny, I thought of something. Last night, I posted on my Facebook group. I'm pulling up my Facebook account right now, and I told the girls that the comment section of the post is their safe space where they can say what the guys do wrongly. And I knew that I'd put it in my vlog so that I would have the consent once I read it here with you guys. And then of course, I went to sleep. And then I was like, oh my god. Sabog notifications ko. Like, I was flooded with comments and there are nearly 800 plus um, at the time when I checked it. And it made me think, who hurt this girls? But wait, this is not to throw shade or to throw hate. I have a lot of boyfriends. And I'm certain that they don't know all the girls who are commenting on their rant. Nila. But like what they said, I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. Diba? So, without further ado, let us start reading. This is from Anne Arenio. Getting offended on men are trash instead of recognizing their cloak of privilege. Instead of being an ally of women against patriarchy and misogyny. In short, fragile masculinity. Abuse, rape, and such happens to men as well. But you all should know that men are not systematically op oppressed. Kaya wag feeling oppressed at sobrang pressed the statement na men are trash. Like, seriously. I'm seeing, you know, tweets na no offend yung mga guys when girls say men are trash. But, you know, this girl has a point. I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm just gonna let these girls speak on behalf of the women. Ito all caps gigil na gigil. Pag ayaw na, sabihin na lang and try to enlighten us as much as possible. Kasi simple honesty naman siguro desert namin. Since makatulong yon para matanggap namin agad why the relationship ended, hindi yung gagawa pa kayo ng kwento para masabing wala kayong kasalanan. It's better to get hurt by the truth rather than to be comforted with lies. Last sentence though. Okay, from Francesca Nicole. Make peace with your past so it won't disturb your present. Marami kasi sa atin nagsasabi ng naging ex din ako pero hindi ako ng gulo. Well, yes, I agree. But naisip nyo ba na kaya nang gugulo ng past ang present kasi iniwang magulo ang past? Kumbaga, unfinished business na hinayaan na lang na nakatenga. I'm not allowed to speak. Oh my gosh. Okay, CJ. Ooh, Daddy Digong. Okay. Wag kayong manligaw pag hindi nyo kayang panindigan or kung bigla na lang kayong mawawala. nag invest din kami ng feelings at oras sa inyo. Lakas nyo pa mga ako tas hindi nyo rin naman itutuloy. Tas hihingi kayo ng assurance na aasa kayo sa amin tas kayo pala biglang mawawala. Tigilan nyo yan. Gigil ako. 
This is a peepee though. Ay. Okay. Okay, Rufik Diane. Bakit mahal niyo lang yung isang babae kapag okay siya? Kapag maganda siya? Kapag hindi gumagawa ng mali? Kapag perfect siya sa'yo? Pero, pag nagkamali na o may mga bagay kayong hindi nagustuhan, parang isinumpa nyo nang nakilala nyo siya. Again, tagabasa lang ho ako. From Sophie to Vilia, why are boys so desperate to get laid? But they shame women for having sex. Boys, you can comment down below ha. Boys, you can comment down below. And let's see kung ano ba talaga yung mga answers nyo with these questions. Well, I mean, sino ba yung hindi nakaka-relate dito? Sending mixed signals. Sino ba yung hindi nakaka-relate dito? Ha? Tell me. From Faith. Pag sila may mali, hindi makita-kita. Pero ang bilis makapuna ng mali ng mga girlfriend nila. Pinagtawisan ako na, oh my gosh. From Fiona, when they see women as trophies or banners. Ito, galing kay Jal. Manghingi ng nudes, lumandi kahit mahal pa ex, tas babalikan nun pala. Piliin ka kapag wala ng choice, mang take for granted, only love you when it's convenient for them. This is from Andrea. Stop relying on your mama to make every fucking decision for you, lalo na sa relationship. I'm not in a relationship with her, but with you. At oo, naghaha ko dito. Kasi, okay, I, I can't speak, okay. This one is totally winning. Send pic. This one for Marielle. A lot of boys think that every girl is up for it. You know, some girls still like wholesome conversation and all that. I find it really offensive that that's what most guys ask me first. I mean, sino ba yung hindi magagalit dun? From Christine Mapura, boys literally think that the world revolves around them. We don't dress for you guys. We don't do our makeup to impress you. Sit the f down. This is so strong. From Kiara Pauline, most of them are best in mental manipulation, I swear. Sobrang uncomfortable. Ginagawa nilang sila yung victim or kawawa para lang makuha gusto nila. Hindi lang yun nakakainis because sometimes sa sobrang manipulative, it gives us trauma. Hey, another one from Cleo. Ang galing niyong magpa-victim. Binabaliktad niyo palagi yung sitwasyon. Hindi niyo kayang tanggapin sarili niyong mali. Tapos, kahit kaka-break lang, wala pang dalawang araw, malalaman naming may kalandian. <laughs> oh, sample. Kaka-break lang. Maya-maya, may kasama na sa milk tea shop. Ganun. This one from Amy. Hindi porket pa ulit-ulit kitang tinanggap, makakampante ka na. May limitasyon ang pagmamahal ng isang babae, lalo na kapag pa ulit-ulit mong niloko. Hold up! Wait lang, break muna. If you're on Spotify or iTunes, please stream Fake Nights by Sash. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, Sash is my husband. Hindi pa rin serious, I just wanna help the guy. Okay, guys, this is a great song, I swear. Okay, going back to business from Catherine. Pag sinabi mo yung bagay na ginawa niya na nakasakit sa iyo, imbis na makinig ang sasabihin ang sasabihin pa sa iyo, wala na akong ginawang tama. Going back to what, you know, couple girl said earlier. <sighs> pa victim ng mga puta. Amy Artiaga, mas pinagtatanggol pa yung babae pinagsasalosan kaysa sa sarili mong minamahal. Give it to me like you need it, babe. Okay. Hmm, this one. They take the words, I love you, lightly. From Bea Nadine, nagagawa pa rin mga stock ng ibang babae kahit may girlfriend na. Wala raw ini-stock, pero noong nahuli, itinatanggi pa. So it hurts my ass that I cannot speak for myself or I cannot share my own experience, but <laughs> girls, Oh my god, girls. <sighs> this one from Ray Flynn. 
Tsaka please lang, stop nyo agad kapag alam nyo may hinihintay lang kayong bumalik. Hindi yung sasabihin nyo bigla na pinaasa nyo. I only used you to fulfill her absence, pero hanggang doon lang yon Kapag bumalik na hinihintay Oh, this is strong. From MK Carly. We're not just replaceable sanitary napkins. Ooh, this one's itemized from Miles. Thinking that women are weaker because they are emotional and can't make rational decisions. Can't say no, or they don't mean it when they say no. Are at fault when they get harassed. Guys, this is the mindset of mga girls. And this one, the last but not the least, from Francesca Nicoligan. To anybody who's reading this, I pray that whatever is hurting you or whatever you are constantly stressing about gets better. May the dark thoughts, the overthinking, and the doubt exit your mind right now. May clarity replace confusion. May peace and calmness fill your life. Namaste. Okay, that is 20-something, and there's a whole lot more, honestly, because as we speak, as I film this podcast, I'm pulling up my Facebook again, I still get notifications, marami pa rin nagko-comment dun sa post ko. Well, I may not be able to read these one by one, but we can already tell that girls just have to say so much. But guys, it's not yet too late for you all to stop that toxic masculinity. Kasi to be honest, yun lang naman yung pinag-uugutan nito eh. Remember this, babae yung nagluwal sa inyo. If you respect your mom, then you might as well respect women. In general. Ito naman girls, let's stop putting so much expectation on them. Your happiness and your self-worth should not be defined by their opinions and action. They ask for nudes and you're uncomfortable about it, block them. If they cheat on you, Leave them. It's going to be their loss. They used you as a rebound. Ditch them. Someday soon they'll realize your worth. Pagwala kana. Happens 99.99% of the time. If they start to make a victim, haya anya sila. Deep down, their guilt is eating them alive. That's why they do that. And before I end this video, try ko muna mag shout out. This is gonna be the first time na mo shout out ako oh my gosh. So please bear with me. I wanna say hi to Brian Schiller. To Christian de la Cruz and to my shop out friends, Angeli Cunada and Shania Espirito. I also want to thank the girls who participated and for those who commented on sa thread or dun sa post na nila pagko dun sa group. Anyway, the group's name is The Kalat Club and you can join if you want, especially if you're Makalat too. And thank you so much for watching this podcast. I hope there is something that you have put in mind and girls and boys, alam nyo na. 